Now I'm not normally one to follow trends, but these I think are gonna be huge this year. So let me put you on. Okay, so today we are of course talking about the Adidas Special, the cool understated uncle of the very popular Adidas Samba. Sambas have been hugely popular over the last year or so, as you probably know, but really I think the Special is the superior model. They're way more comfortable, they're not gonna cut your ankles up like Sambas do, they have literally no break-in period, and they come in so many color options to suit anyone's style. Regardless of any trendiness though, Specials are a timeless, classic, casual shoe that I really think can be integrated into so many different people's types of wardrobe whether you want something versatile and classic or you want something a little more playful and colourful. As always with me, everything will be linked in the description down below. So if anything takes your fancy, go have a look down there and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy and want to see more videos like this one. Enough talking, let's begin. Alrighty, let me introduce you to today's contenders right here. Firstly is a classic black suede pair. This is like my third or fourth pair of these over the years. You really can't go wrong with a black sneaker with white accents. If versatility is something you prioritize in your wardrobe, this black pair looks good with nearly everything. A great sneaker to just chuck on and forget if you want something super easy to wear. And secondly, I've been trying to add a little more color into my wardrobe, so I picked up this green and cream pair. This shade of green is absolutely stunning. Great for a color pop, but it also pairs well with many other colors in my wardrobe. Not as versatile as the black pair, but it's great for those days where I want something a little more playful and eye-catching. Let's get into the outfits. Starting with the current season of spring, I really think this outfit epitomizes my spring style nicely. It's comfy and cozy and nothing too serious. Starting off with this cream knit, you've seen it many times before. This is the Mora jumper from Finisterre, 100% merino wool. These are beautifully made and beautifully soft. I paired this jumper with some classic straight blue jeans as I've been loving wider fit denim recently. These are my 501s from the women's section in a classic mid blue wash. And finally on feet, we had the black speciales. For accessories, we have my ALD cap and my canvas cream tote bag. I love the colors going on here. Blue and cream with a hint of black will never do you wrong in spring. I also really like how the jeans fall on the shoes. Going for wider trousers with a slimmer shoe silhouette provides a lot of contrast and it keeps things interesting. Just a great all-around outfit you'll definitely see me in if you bump into me on the streets this spring. Secondly, let's style the green pair for spring. And of course, I've gone for cream jeans. I know I've yapped on about cream jeans in spring so much already this year, so I won't go on too long here. I just want to highlight the color combination of the cream jeans when paired with the green of the Speziales. It's just beautiful. I introduced the third color by chucking on my blue Levi's denim jacket here, and I'm essentially pairing some of my favorite color combinations together to create something playful and interesting. I'm really trying to add some color back into my wardrobe this spring, whilst keeping my outfits feeling authentic to my style, and I think this outfit achieves that perfectly. I'm very comfortable comfortable wearing this, but it's still a little bit outside of my comfort zone being so colourful. For accessories, I went with some black to keep everything balanced and ground the outfit with my black sunglasses and my black leather tote bag from US leather brand Andar. Overall, very happy with the colours here. It's classic, but the Speziales add an athletic touch to keep it interesting. Right, let's move on to summer outfit number one here. And this is an outfit that I really think summarizes my style in summer. Super chill, lightweight fabrics and flowy silhouettes. I absolutely hate overheating in summer, so I always do my best to utilize silhouette and fabric to keep me cool. First up, we have this beautiful beige linen shirt from Arquette's women's section. It's lightweight and super breathable, making it a staple in my summer wardrobe. I'm aware there's a lot of black here, which is not the most optimal for summer heat, but the shorts again are a wider pair made of linen, and these are from Finisterre. Again, they're so lightweight and flowy. They're the perfect short shorts for summer. We of course have the black speziales on feet and for accessories my black crossbody bag from Coz and my clear O4s from Chimi Eyewear. Just a very effortless and easy casual summer outfit. I really hope some of you can at least take a little bit of inspiration from this for your summer wardrobe. Transitioning to summer outfit number two, for the torso layer, I again wanted something lightweight and flowy, so I went with an oversized long sleeve cotton shirt. I absolutely love a clean white shirt in summer, but it has to be oversized and not too structured. We're not heading into the office here. I paired the shirt with some wide fitting beige pleated trousers. These are the infamous wide fit pleated trousers that you've all seen me wear before from Uniqlo. And I went with these firstly because I love beige paired with green as a color combination, but I also love the clash of formalities here with the typical smart pleated trousers paired with a casual athletic inspired shoe. This is not your typical office outfit with a smart shirt and trousers, but one toned down for a chill summer day out exploring your local city. 
Let's move on to autumn now for our next outfit, and it's definitely time to embrace the cooler temperatures setting in. Starting with this heavyweight oversized black hoodie, this is from UK brand Destructive, 420 GSM, 100% brush cotton, made in Portugal. They're probably one of the best hoodies you can buy for the price. For the trousers, I wanted to match those autumnal tones, so I went with some canvas work trousers in this mid brown. These are also from Finisterre, and honestly, I wear these so much in autumn. They're so thick, so warm, I love the fit of them, and they offer a more utilitarian touch with the visible front pocket stitching and the durable metal hardware. Of course we have the black speziales complementing the tones of the other items and finally I went with a pop of colour with my royal blue cap from Carl Buxton. This outfit is what I always gravitate towards in the autumn months. It's again very effortlessly stylish at least to me and it's just so easy to wear and look good. Let's move on. Up next, we have the second outfit for autumn, and this might be my favorite outfit of this whole video. I don't know what it is about mid gray and green, but I absolutely love this color combination. Starting off with this oversized low gauge knit jumper from Finisterre. This is the air jumper from the women's section. It's dramatically oversized with drop shoulders and a boxy silhouette. I matched the wider silhouette of the jumper with the same wide pleated trousers from Uniqlo, but in a classic black this time. For accessories, I went with my black crossbody bag, some black sunglasses. These are the 05s from Chimi Eyewear, and finally a beige beanie to complement the tones of the sneakers. This outfit I really didn't think would look this good in my head, but I love the overall wider silhouette when paired with a slimmer shoe. The trousers add some structure, whilst the shoes add a pop of colour. Finally, moving on to winter with outfit number one, and we're keeping with the same earthy tones, but layering up significantly more to keep warm. For the base, I went with this beautiful mocha brown hoodie, again from Destructive. These hoodies, whilst they look great on their own, they're also a great layering item. And for the trousers, I went with some wide fit jeans in black. Wide fit jeans are a great shout in winter because you can chuck on some thermals underneath super easily. For the outer layer, I grabbed my trusty Carhartt Detroit jacket in this dusty beige color. I love the beige and the brown color combination here, and it pairs nicely with the hint of brown in the Spezi Alma sold too. Finally, all black with the accessories to keep things toned down. This is a very cozy, chill, comfy outfit for winter. It will keep you warm and the layering and the colour combinations definitely keep it interesting. And finally, we have winter outfit number two, and I possibly saved the best until last, you'll have to let me know. I know winter isn't really the optimal season for wearing colourful outfits, but I'm not letting that stop me here. For the base, we have the same hoodie, just in a grey mile this time, and the jeans are the same blue 501s from Levi's. For the outer layer, I wanted to go all out with colour here, so I decided on my beige vintage overcoat. I absolutely love the colour pairings here. It really is an outfit consisting of all of my favourite colour combinations right now. Finally, I toned the outfit down with black accessories, the same leather tote bag from Andar, and the same black. 05s from Jimmy. The checkerboard beanie is from Sundays, and I think it adds to that playfulness of the green speziales. It might not be the right time to wear this outfit, but I'll be saving this outfit and wearing it as soon as it starts to get cold again. All right, peeps, and there we go. A few ways on how I would go about styling the classic Adidas Spezial for all seasons. I really hope this video gave you some solid outfit inspiration wherever you are in the world and whatever season you're in. And if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe again down below for more videos like this one. I'll leave you with these videos here if you're after more content from me. If not though, I will see you in the video next week. See you then.